energy. It powers equipment. It shapes, molds, and heats raw materials. It lights our ballparks and cities. It provides transportation and modern conveniences in our homes. Energy plays a valuable role in all of our lives every single day. It is such an integral part of our lives that we tend to underestimate or not respect its risks and potential hazards if not properly controlled. You wouldn't work at a place of business where you spin the wheel each day to see if you get injured. Yet millions of workers inspecting, adjusting, servicing, or maintaining equipment and machinery take the same risk every day when they elect not to isolate energy sources before placing themselves in harm's way. In this program, Lockout Tagout, we will discuss the hazards associated with the accidental release of energy, proper lockout tagout procedures for attaining zero energy state, proper startup procedures, and special situations you may encounter. In a government study of 152 fatalities involving installation, service, maintenance, or repair tasks, failure to completely de-energize isolate, block, and or dissipate the energy source was the cause in 82% or 124 of the incidents. Failure to lock out and tag out energy control devices and isolation points after de-energization accounted for 11% of the deaths. Failure to verify that the energy source was de-energized before beginning the work accounted for the other 7%. 100% of these fatalities could have been prevented by following proper lockout tagout procedures. Why is this information important to you? As a person who services, maintains, operates, or works with or near energized equipment and machinery, it is imperative you understand and respect the hazards associated with the equipment you operate and the energy it uses. The purpose of lockout tagout procedures is to protect you from the hazards associated with the accidental startup or release of energy during service and maintenance. The majority of injured workers can be placed into one of two categories. The inexperienced person who doesn't recognize the hazard or the experienced individual who for whatever reasons doesn't fully respect it. It is estimated that over 100 workers are seriously injured every day due to failure to properly lock out tag out equipment. Workers can be seriously injured or killed by electrical shock or high-pressure liquid sprays or by falling or moving parts. They can lose fingers, hands, arms, or suffer severe crushing injuries. These hazards can be controlled by taking precautions to ensure that equipment is de-energized before beginning work on or around it. This means shutting off electrical power, releasing spring pressure, blocking movable parts, and releasing airstream or liquid pressure. Steps must be taken to...